He has scored against Barcelona and Real Madrid and was a key member of both Hetafe and Japan squads. But he has only played five times in La Liga this season for Getafe, and uh, he usually doesn't even make the bench for the team. So what happened to Gaku Shibasaki, and why isn't he playing at all anymore? Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Masala, and welcome back to another episode of the series where I take a deep look into a player's story and see what happened to them or who they are. I've got a playlist. I'll put that in the right hand corner right now so you can watch some of those videos I also have what happened to Kazuke Honda what happened to Inui and loads of other ones about various random players from around the world and stuff like that yeah I always yeah so I have a whole playlist up there and uh, yeah so firstly um, you can follow me on Twitter if you want uh, links in the description uh, I won't be doing updates for the channel it's more to try and attract people to the channel rather than be a uh, sort of thing alongside the channel yeah so I'll just be trying to get people on Twitter to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel rather than the other way around and also uh, I'm not copying JFG17 I have had this idea for a long time it's just a coincidence that uh, it, we both put it into place at the same time so yeah I'll go through Shibasaki's story first and then I'll see what happened to him and what could happen next and if he can revive his career in any way or whether he'll just go back to Japan like some other players anyway so yeah so straight after leaving school Shibasaki joined the most successful club in Japan Kashima Antlers and uh, soon made his debut age just 19. Before this he had played for Japan in the under 17 World Cup but Japan had performed very badly in that tournament it wasn't a very good squad um, none of the uh, players in that tournament play for Japan's national team uh, at the moment so yeah uh, they did finish bottom of their group though with zero points. However, Shibasaki did manage to cement his place in Kashima's team and uh, he did win the 2012 J League Rookie of the Year award um, which was, is very impressive and there's quite a lot of players who went on to star for Japan who won that award as well. Um, how, uh, yeah, so uh, he continued to play well for Kashima. In the future, he won the Player of the Month awards, and in 2014, he made his debut for the Japanese national team, aged 22. And uh, he also was added to the Asian Cup squad in 2015. And although he didn't start at the Asian Cup, uh, he played a crucial role as he came off the bench to equalise against the United Arab Emirates in the quarterfinals. And then uh, the game went to a penalty shootout. He scored his penalty, uh, but it wasn't enough to put Japan through to the next round of the tournament. And uh, the most experienced players in the squad, Honda and Kagawa, managed to miss theirs. So yeah, it, it uh, wasn't too good of a tournament in that one, but Shibasaki did manage to show that he could perform uh, in tough matches and the next time that Shibasaki really shone was in the 2016 Club World Cup as uh, Kashima Antlers made it to the final in a great run beating clubs from uh, all over the world uh, this the final was against Real Madrid and um, Shibasaki scored two goals uh, to take the game to extra time he he he, he uh, made it go to all um, but they did end up conceding two more in extra time Real Madrid won that game 4-2 uh, but even though Kashima did lose that game Shibasaki was named third player third best player in the tournament behind Luka Modric and Cristiano Ronaldo that's quite a good achievement and uh, these performances put the attention of the world onto him and uh, in 2017 he moved to CD Tenerife in um, the Spanish second division on a six-month contract and uh, as he moved in January 2017 he was only able to play 12 games for Tenerife uh, they just missed out on promotion that season but he did play well it was uh, he played well enough to impress the La Liga t club Hetafe and in his first season at Hetafe, Shibasaki was playing well. He did uh, score against Barcelona in an amazing fashion. Go and watch that goal if you want to. It's a really good one. Um, he wasn't a regular starter. He did come off the bench quite a lot of times, but he was definitely a valuable player for Hetafe. Um, and uh, he did seem to be doing quite well in La Liga and it would it seemed as though he would push on season after and try and start for them. However, he has only played five times for Hetafe this season. So what, why isn't he playing anymore? We know he isn't e injured because he's still playing for the, Jap for the Japan national team. He's been called up to every squad since the World Cup. Play yeah, he played in the World Cup. He played 
in November and he played very recently against Colombia which was just a few days ago actually but he's not playing for Tafe at all he's played like five, yeah as I said he played five times um, he doesn't even sit on the bench most of the time so here's my theories for why he's playing I really couldn't find too much information on this it, I was this is kind of why I made that video is I was kind of interested to see if any of you know knew why he wasn't playing and uh, the first one and the thing that's most probably most likely is that he just doesn't fit Hetafe's squad or their way of playing. Maybe they got a new manager in, I probably should have checked whether they got a new manager in. But uh, yeah, they might have got a new manager in or they might have had other players who were playing better. Maybe he just doesn't fit the way that they play or something like that. That's probably the most likely. The next ones are a little bit uh, more out there in terms of theories. But uh, yeah. Um, so my second theory was that possibly he was injured for a bit and then he was dropped out of favour during while he was injured and then when he came back he just wasn't able to get into the squad at all. Of course he did have to go for a large period of time during the Asian Cup and I know a lot of players lost their place once they went to that competition uh, because uh, other players played in their place and they played well. And uh, maybe he struggled with homesickness as well, this is a bit out there as I said before. Uh, he struggled with homesickness in the past when playing for Tenerife, um, so maybe he is struggling in Spain and Spanish football. Uh, maybe he would be better moving to Germany where there's more Japanese players um, or moving back to Japan maybe. Uh, he really does need to get game time, so uh, it's better to uh, go back to where you're not feeling homesick. I know uh, Japanese players do struggle in La Liga a bit. We've seen Kia Take have to leave. And uh, finally, the most strange solution, not solution, most strange reason why I think he's not playing is that maybe he's forcing a move to a club where he'll play more. I really doubt that this is the case, but uh, he might be, yeah, he might just uh, not be training that well because he wants to play in a different club. I really don't know. I don't think this is why. To be honest, I really don't know why he's not playing. It's uh, He's probably just playing badly, to be honest. Whatever. He just needs to move. He could move to uh, any club uh, in sort of like a smaller club, maybe like Belgium or Netherlands or somewhere like that. Maybe Germany, a lower club in Germany would probably want him. And uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, even though I don't really know what's going on either. So it probably wasn't that helpful, but anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to suggest stuff in this series, I know the series is quite popular, haven't been doing videos like this for a while, so I'll definitely try and do more of these, I always enjoy making them, it's just that they take quite a lot of research to make, and uh, it's just after school and stuff, it's quite hard to motivate myself to do more writing for uh, these videos, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, suggest players that I could look at, and uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.